Harper Beckham's career path might eventually resemble Kim Kardashian's, with intentions to build a profitable business under the cautious eye of her momager and a surname that will open many doors. This week, when she gave her mother a Harper's Bazaar Women of the Year award and even spoke about her amazing mummy, the 13-year-old daughter of Victoria and David Beckham made her first official foray into the public eye. She said to the star-studded audience, I'm really anxious, especially because it's a school night tonight. I'm hoping that this won't land me in trouble. The adolescent made the appearance weeks after she attended her mother's perfume launch in New York and stated that she hopes to start an amazing company in the future, similar to her mother's fashion label of the same name. There are many more role models around, though, such as Victoria's new friend Kim Kardashian, with whom the former Spice Girl has been becoming closer in recent years. Kim, 44, has distinguished herself as a successful businesswoman and is now the CEO of the billion-dollar shapewear company Schemes departing from her reality TV beginnings. Because Victoria is acquainted with the Calabasas family and hired Kim's sister Kendall Jenner to walk for her 2023 Paris Fashion Week show, their worlds have blended, and she is undoubtedly targeting this level of accomplishment for her youngest child. Victoria is wise to position Harper for a career in business and will be keen to protect her from the same mistakes her oldest son Brooklyn made when he was first starting out. Riley Gardner, a public relations specialist at No Strings Publication, asserts that Harper is currently in a more lucrative position than Kim was. Before becoming a food influencer, Brooklyn tried his hand at modeling, photography, and football. He has started his own hot sauce company, continuing his mother's strategy of developing a brand rather than a career in show business. Victoria acknowledged that she wasn't the Spice Girls' best vocalist and that she is much more comfortable in the fashion industry where her business is now turning a profit for the first time. Harper may choose to entirely avoid the spotlight and attend college, but it's a wise decision to position her to start a business rather than be a celebrity. I think it's a little oversimplified to compare Harper Beckham to Kim Kardashian, but it makes sense in terms of brand building, Riley remarked. With Victoria's help, Harper's goal to build her own brand goes beyond just following in Kim's footsteps, the PR specialist added. The parallels are unmistakable. Being born into wealth and having a momager as a parent are both indicators of Kim K's potential for fame. However, I would admit that Victoria, who only rose to fame in her early 20s, has experienced all the hardships of being really famous and even growing up somewhat in the spotlight. On the surface, she looks far more grounded and grounded than Kris Jenner and she probably wants her daughter to achieve success in a way that is safe, sustainable, and most importantly, grounded. Harper's network, which includes high fashion and serious business in addition to the celebrity realm, is what makes her unique. She has this edge over Kim Kardashian, who first used reality TV and the scandal to build her brand. Embracing her heritage while developing her own genuine voice will be Harper's biggest challenge. Victoria's engagement might be about creating an atmosphere that encourages Harper's uniqueness rather than just offering commercial advice. This is about creating a fresh story, not about imitating others. Harper believes that initiatives that prioritize creativity over sensation, sustainability, or innovation could be the direction of her brand in the future. Harper, who is only 13 years old, announced her intention to follow in Victoria's footsteps at a New York event promoting her mother's new perfume. Reverie, which means daydream in French. Harper scribbled, build a fantastic brand when I'm older, and everyone to be happy on a piece of card in a wordplay about the 280-pound perfume. Last month, Victoria released a photo of the written letter on Instagram, revealing her daughter's goals to the world. She wrote, Harper 7 is putting her aspirations and dreams out there and following in mummy's footsteps. Victoria has already formed a company called H7B Limited, which matches the teen's full name, Harper 7 Beckham. So it's a dream that might come true soon. The former Spice Girl and a lawyer are both listed as directors of H7B, and Victoria will most likely be in control of Harper's social media accounts whenever she starts using them. Like Kim, who made family a major component of her image from the star of her career, when she first appeared on Keeping Up with the Kardashians in 2007. It is evident that Victoria intends to maintain family as a major component of Harper's brand. The show, which started when Kim was only 26 years old, followed her life alongside her sisters Chloe and Courtney as they operated their Calabasas-based store, Dash. 
Family remained the main focus of the show, as she continued to live at home with her mother Chris, step-parent Caitlyn Jenner, and her preteen half-sisters Kylie and Kendall Jenner. It featured arguments, birthday celebrations, and surprises among the now-famous family. After 17 years, Kim is now a mother of four and has made her family a major component of her business by frequently showcasing them on her Instagram and TV show. In the meanwhile, Victoria's brand relies heavily on her family, as does her upcoming Netflix documentary, which will undoubtedly feature Harper's speech at the Harper's Bazaar Women of the Year Awards as well as her outfit for her mother's September Paris Fashion Week presentation. Given that Harper hardly appeared in Beckham, the four-part documentary series on her father's football career, it is telling that she will have a significant role. But Victoria wrote on Instagram that the Netflix cameras had been present to capture every special moment during their night out at the awards ceremony earlier this week. With Kim, who originally shot to fame on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, there is yet another synergy. Since then, the mother of four has transitioned from reality star to shapewear tycoon, and Victoria has put up her leotard for stylish gowns that are adored by the royal family, Gigi Hadid, and Eva Longoria. After experiencing financial troubles, the business has achieved critical recognition, and her most recent collection was dubbed a dance of delight. Fifteen years after its start, the brand made a profit for the first time in December. The success was attributed in large part to her well-planned social media approach, which included posting makeup tutorial videos on TikTok. Her beauty arm, which Victoria started in 2019, has also been quite successful. Her 30-pound satin kajal eyeliner is one example. For almost the past 15 years, the luxury brand has borrowed almost 30 million pounds from various Beckham business ventures. In the meantime, just four years after its founding, Kim Kardashian's successful clothing company schemes has been valued at an astounding $4 billion. Together with 45-year-old Swedish businesswoman Jens Greed, the reality star originally introduced the shapewear line in 2019, and it has since grown to become one of the most well-known apparel brands worldwide. It started off as an online store selling underwear that was made to fit people of various shapes and colors, but now it sells a wide range of other items, including dresses, shorts, t-shirts, pajamas, leggings, sweatshirts, swimwear, and even socks. Kim recently remarked, we're really proud of how quickly it has grown. The flow of product introductions has been excellent. Schemes have undoubtedly grown quickly. According to reports, it sold almost $2 million worth of items in just 10 minutes when it was originally released in 2019. It was estimated to be worth $1.6 billion by 2021 and $3.2 billion in January 2022. It is currently valued at an astounding $4 billion. Kim Kardashian's reality TV career has been a major contributor to her success, and the businesswoman has also ventured into brand partnerships. Victoria and her husband David recently appeared in the Netflix documentary Beckham. In a scenario that aired on the Kardashians this year, Victoria revealed that Kim Kardashian, her mother Kris Jenner, and her boyfriend Corey Gamble were 20 minutes late for their Fashion Week performance because they were caught in traffic. Kim, who grew up loving the Spice Girls, has long been a fan of Victoria's. During the last season of Kardashians, Kim revealed that she was once asked to cover for Posh Spice while she was on tour. Both celebrities have a slew of Hollywood friends in addition to their well-known families. Victoria's friends, such as Eva Longoria and Tom Cruise, are available to help ensure Harper's success. Despite not allowing Harper to have her own Instagram account, Victoria has allowed Harper to share posts on her platforms because she is eager to present her daughter to the world. Kris Jenner, who once disclosed the Kardashians' achievements at a WWD summit, would be proud of this decision. She stated in 2017 that the entire marketing budget my children need is the price of a smartphone, according to the source. Social media emerged as the most crucial tool available to us for starting and expanding a business. Harper used VB products to create a makeup tutorial that she shared on Instagram. She looked straight into the camera, applied the product meticulously, and proudly displayed the outcome. Victoria admitted that she seldom ever permits her daughter to leave the house wearing makeup, even though she is skilled at applying it. Victoria remarked after Harper's Tuesday night speech, It's intimidating to stand on stage in front of a large crowd, but you did it with such grace and elegance. You helped me see the world in a new way. Being a mother is my most important job, 
despite my busy schedule. The reporter was informed by a source that although Harper and Victoria contributed to their remarks, the Victoria's publicity team wrote them. Victoria is not stupid, according to a source close to the Beckhams. You can see why some people still refer to her as the momager after what she did there. Only time will tell if she's the finest in the business.